What's going on, positive people? It is Scott from The Life. It's formerly known as Scott's Projects. I do work on a lot of projects in my life, so we're working on this truck ammo 820, and right now it doesn't shift correctly, so I'm pressing up, and it has like these low spots. I mean, here it's making all the chatter. When I try to downshift, so I'm hitting the shift to try to downshift, it doesn't really downshift very well. It's still not in the, the highest gear, I believe, or like the smallest cog. I, I always forget if it's high for smallest or if it's low for smallest. I think low is the big gear and then high is the small gear. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. I just, I have like dyslexia kind of, so like I always flip stuff. So I'll say it's the opposite of what it actually is. but. If you're going to want to adjust your rear derailleur, what you're going to need to do is get some chain lube to help you lubricate the cables because I'm pretty sure there's like there must be just some rust or debris inside the cable housings and that's why it's not shifting as cleanly as it should. <laughs> okay, or there might be some gunk up in the front shifter here. Um, I'm going to spray a little bit of um, silicone in there. And yeah, there is some rust. I can see visible rust on this cable right here. So I'm going to show you. So you can see right there that there is rust in there. So that might be what it's getting caught up on. And it's not allowing us to shift downward. So that being said, I'm gonna, oh, okay, so things you're gonna need, obviously you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver to adjust the high and low limit screws on the rear derailleur, and needle nose pliers to help you pull the cable tight, and then I'd said um, chain lube to lubricate the cables, but you also need a wrench. Got my wrench set, and I'm pretty sure it's a 10 mil, let's see, 10 millimeter. It is not a 10 millimeter, what a surprise. Maybe it's a nine. Okay, so it's a nine mil. I'm gonna loosen this nut, release all the tension in the cable. And that is gunked up. There we go. So, got the cable loose so we can pull this all apart. And then drip our chain lube. I actually have some spray chain lube. Oh well. Uh, could maybe spray that inside here. But let's see if. Oh, of course. So they wrap the. They wrap the speedometer in, like on the rear derailleur cable. So it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Right, I think I'm gonna get my spray. It's all right, so I'm back at you. I got some semi-dry bicycle chain lube. We can't do a spray for them. So I'm gonna stick the straw in there. <laughs> it just came through prematurely. <laughs> so I'm gonna spray that in the cable housing. Okay, it dripped off the other side, so we now know that this is completely saturated. I'm going to spray a little bit up in the shift shift, so... Yeah, it's got some in there. So... Yeah, it is completely saturated. Oh, yeah, okay. It's a nice Shimano cable housing. So I'm going to put that back in its place. I mean, in all honesty, I could probably replace this cable because it is rusted, but I'm gonna try to get some more life out of it. Um, so we got the top housing lubricated. Now I can just use my squirt bottle to lubricate this. All right, so we got that lubricated. Let's 
nice and saturated. So now that that's lubricated, you can adjust the load. I am high on the limits, so I think I think this should be okay. But I think it just mainly was a tensioning problem. Yeah, paper towel if you have it, wipe off. Oh yeah, and I wear nitrile gloves. So these are nine mil nitrile gloves because I don't want skin cancer on my hands. And I wear safety glasses to protect my eyes. I should wear a respirator, but that's kind of annoying because I can't talk to you if I'm wearing a respirator. Let's be real. Okay, so making sure this goes all the way down. So it's all the way down in the, I think the lowest gear, no, the highest gear, I guess. This is high, maybe. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I always screw this up, like I said. So, yeah. Got all the cable, got the cable all lubricated, should be set to go and drip some around here. There's like some of the different points. Okay. Alright, so we got it all under control. Now we just have to Look and make sure our jockey wheel, it's in the right position, and I'm pretty sure, it, I mean, it does go all the way up. So I think our limit screws are in the correct positions. We don't have to really adjust that. Um, I think it was just a really, really bad tension problem. So I'm going to screw the barrel adjusters all the way in. It only has one adjustment, which is on the rear derail itself. So I'm going to screw that all in. There's nothing up here on top. Of course. Okay. So then, I'm just going to put the cable back into place. I'm pretty sure I just had too much tension in the cable because of that rust. And then making sure that this is all kosher in place. Yeah, it looks like everything's in place as it should be. I'm going to pull this cable on. as tense as I can get it. With a nine mil wrench, tighten it right down. Okay, let's see, let's see how she rolls. issue is up here so it's like really gunked up up in there so inside the shifter we got some gunk going on 